Hi, this is Aijan Shorman reporting for Harvard Political Review. Divest Harvard has recently put on a week-long fast in order to bring awareness of the university turning away from fossil fuel companies. We attended several events and spoken to some of the fast participants. We're facing a major crisis, but as, um, as Naomi Klein frames it in her new book, it's also an opportunity, and it's an opportunity for us to to start to make the transition to a different energy economy. And that begins with divesting from fossil fuels. Since 1880, the Earth has warmed 0.8 degrees Celsius. And that has already caused the climate change that we've seen today, like the oceans 30% more acidic, and the Arctic melting, and all the typhoons and hurricanes. The scary part is that by the end of the century, by 2100, we're set to warm over 4 degrees Celsius. So it's kind of hard to imagine that world would I think fasting is a powerful tool of bearing witness. Um, if people see you and believe that you're actually fasting um, and like compromising your food, um, compromising some of your most basic comforts and necessities in order to try to make a statement, then hopefully the idea is that they're more likely to think about what is making you do what you're doing. And, it's, um, and in that way, just like that bearing witness, um, it could be a powerful tool of expression. I believe in common struggles, in the continuity of this struggle. And I believe that this fight that is being fought by these young people here at Harvard is not an isolated fight to this campus. It is, of course, a fight that is being waged on many other university campuses in the United States and beyond. But it's also a fight that many other people are taking around the world. Let me share a story with you. I come from Egypt. Um, where many activists are struggling to end the country's reliance on fossil fuel industries and primarily on coal, uh, which is um, the, the, because of plans that the Egyptian government has to expand the coal industry in Egypt. In doing so, they are fighting not only against the status quo of corporate interests, but they are also fighting against an unjust world system in which the global north exports its most polluting industries to the global south and um, selfishly attempt to improve the well-being of the citizens of the global north without sufficiently taking into consideration the interests and well-being of the citizens of the global south. I think that what happens here um, has powerful reverberating effects, not just in the divestment movement in the rest of the country, but uh, in environmental activism and social justice activism generally. We've received letters from the president of the university saying, essentially, we're not doing what you guys are asking, we're not going to talk with you guys about this, and you are just some marginal group of you know, extreme activists on campus. The obvious end goal is divestment. We want Harvard to divest its endowment from fossil fuel companies. Um, but there's sort of intermediate steps. I think one big ask we've had, especially since the action in the spring, is just open dialogue about divestment, which is an ask that other social justice groups especially, and just other groups on campus can relate to. Um, the opportunity to engage in a truly substantively open way with the administration about issues we feel are important. So that's an, a long-term ask we've had now as well as to have this open meeting about divestment. The students are trying every way they can to call attention to how passionate they, they, they feel. Um, the fast is, um, it's one way of doing it, but I myself hope they'll get more angry. I've been pretty involved with the climate movement since I got to Harvard my freshman year in 2011. Um, busting down the DC to surround the White House and Keystone Pipeline protests and uh, more recently going down to New York City for the 400,000 person climate march. My family knows that I've been fasting. They've been really supportive. My parents actually joined in the fast for a couple of days in solidarity, which is really sweet. I've been fasting right now for about 54 and a half hours. Um, I'm going to be breaking the fast tomorrow. I think fasting is a lot about feeling as though there is that voice, there is that spirit, and there is that conviction that you know the people who do make the changes need to be doing something. And, and I think divestment for me is a really big part of the university, not just you know, doing these things saying, oh, we did X, Y, and Z, like, it's also about 
uh, the university having that reflexivity and realizing it is a political actor, regardless of whether it likes to think it is or not. The things that make life worthwhile are jeopardized by what the fossil fuel companies do, so I'm really fasting for those things because I believe that divestment will help protect them. I'm very, very proud of the Harvard students, and I hope that I can soon be proud of Harvard again.